So I don't usually do tutorials, but I was recently requested- well, I've been asked a couple times how I use text-to-speech, such as Better Sam, on my microphone without text-to-speech applications. And I use this because for like a variety of reasons, like characters, the like character role-playing, or I use it for just trolling, and well, it's pretty fun to use, and I've learned that it's actually relatively versatile outside of text-to-speech. And I have been asked a couple times because um, the, the text to speech I use, text to speech that I use, is better Sam and is commonly associated with games like Faith and Ultra Kill. And I thought, hey, why not make a little tutorial video to help people also use it? And they can use other things as well, like other text to speeches or not even text to speech at all. You can just use YouTube if you wanted to just play things, and it works. So. You don't have to download that, and all, like, all it takes is one download, just one, and a browser, and that is it. So the way that this is going to work, I am going to probably pull up a- no wait, no, do I need to- I'm going to pull up a text diagram, sort of, of how this works, but, so you see, the way that I do this is that I link my browser to a thing called VB Cable. VB Cable, once downloaded, creates a, sec a separate output for your sound devices. It makes a new one, and by doing that, you can hook up a any browser to that output and then ch use that sound device as a microphone in other games, or on other websites, or on other things like Dis Discord. You can really use it anywhere. and. I cannot say that this is the best way to do it, but it is my way of doing it, and it is the best thing I can do. And it's pretty easy. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna look up VB audio cable, and once you get there, it should give you a website. Very simple, there's going to be a download link right there. And I don't know if this works on MacBook I am or Mac, I only know it works on Windows, and I got- because um, I got this from a different tutorial that helped me a little with VB audio cable, however, I did not- I figured out the rest myself, because I really did not want to download a text-to-speech application, so what you're gonna do is that VB- you are going to download VB audio cable. And once you download VB Audio Cable, it will send, give you a zip file. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to open VB Cable X64. You are going to right-click it, or no, you're going after you extract the folder. Uh, sorry, after you extract the folder from the zip file, you are going to right-click, run as administrator, and you are going to get a pop-up like this. And it will ask you, it says remove driver, but that's because I already have it installed. Which means you can easily remove the driver if you ever don't need it anymore, which is very helpful. However, it is going to give you a button that says install driver. And that is what you're going to do. One click away, you have it installed. And once you have VB cable installed, this is going to create a new sound device. And what you want to do is that this is going to- you are going to be able to look at this in your sound mixer. Oh, my bad. You need to- when you look at your volume mixer, you will see your devices, and your devices will have things like cable input, or speakers, real tech, or audio, or whatever your computer has. Mine's just a bit different. And what you're going to do is that you- to make sure- mine already has this set up, but what you are going to do is you are going- ignore that- you are going to go into your settings and you are going to look up sound mixer options and when you look up sound mixer um it's a uh, it's not exactly correct um okay sorry there we go the it just didn't load correctly sorry you're going to look at either sound mixer options or app volume and device preferences and what you are going to do is that you are going to look at your uh, your applications and if they make sound you are going to be able to change the output or input and you want to change this output to cable input vb audio virtual cable so as you see here 
I um I, ha I already started you, you may have to play a video or some kind of sound on your browser f before it to register as a sa as a something that has volume because it's not going to do that on startup all the time it, it depends so I'm just gonna like I let this play er earlier and I switched the I switched the device to cable input VB vert au ver VB audio virtual cable and once you have that down you can test it out and what we're gonna do here we're gonna go into disc my discord VC for the server that I made just for this recording and we shut the hell up and we are going to change our device to cable output VB audio virtual cable and what you are going to do here is we're going to test this. As you can see, there is a green light indicator. And because of the green light indicator, it means that other people will be able to hear that. It, if you're doing this on Discord, it is recommended that you ch that you turn your sensitivity down, like, but manually, like, change just change the um automatically determine input sensitivity to the lowest like here it helps especially for text to speech because sometimes the sounds are a bit weird but yes so now th that is literally all you have to do but if you feel like getting a little silly you can also if you can also hook it up to voice mod but you don't really have to I do it so I can use my soundboard, but you can easily change your inputs and outputs as well to, um, on voice mod to, um, excuse me, you can easily change your inputs to VB audio virtual cable as well. So that way you can use your soundboard and also this at the same time. How, like, however, um, you can also use it to hear yourself, but I think I've already figured out a solution to that, which is just by opening the volume mixer and making sure that your cable input is unmuted. Because sometimes when you go into the volume mixer, you will notice that this is muted. There will be an icon like this, and you cannot hear anything that is under this cable, but that is because it is muted. You can unmute it, so you can hear it all, so you don't have to use voice mod. So that's just an optional thing. So what we learned here is that we can use that we what we learned here is all you gotta do is connect your browser to a VB audio cable, use that VB audio cable as a sound device, and use it as a microphone input. And there, that's what you use. And as for the text to speech that I use, I use Better Sam because Better Sam's my favorite. And here you go. Hamburger, cheese, burger, Big Mac, Cooper. There you have it. Now you have a wonderful day, and I hope this. If um anything didn't make any sense to you, maybe it didn't. Maybe if anything doesn't make any damn sense to you, maybe you are a little confused. If something didn't work, let me know. If you like, if they like this, if this helped you, let me know what you used it for. As long, as long as it's funny, I I support you. <laughs> Anyway, you have a wonderful day, and goodbye.